everybody, it's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and have we got a real cracker of a video for you today. It is Assemble the Troops, and it's your favourite G.I. Joe show on YouTube, of course, with, um, actually it probably isn't your favourite, but, um, hey, thanks for watching, thanks for coming, and we've got a cracker of a show. We're going to head back to the heady medieval days of 1993. And look at another one of the drug enforcement agency figures. And it's going to be Mace. Um, and this is a strange case. Hmm. Anyway, kids, say no to drugs. We're going to head on over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center. Have a look at this figure. Good news is we don't have to do any assembly. So no ripping him apart. Um, yes, I know I'm going through a few of these complete figures at the moment, so don't stress. I'm just have a real extreme shortage of O-rings at the moment to replace, and um, I'm using them very sparingly. So I've got more on the way. So once those rock up, we are just going to be assembling the hell out of a lot of troops. So stand by for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. In the interim, though, like I said, 1993. What a time to be alive that was. Uh, we got Mace, Drug Enforcement Undercover Operator. Let's roll over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center and get this troop assembled. All right, so we've made the perilous trip over, all the way over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center. And we've got Mace from 1993. Like I said, one of the drug enforcement figures. And... Yeah, not a bad figure at all. Like, he looks... He's an undercover dude. Um, so he's pretty sharp and pretty suave and all that. And I have been able to round up all of his accessories. And if you remember in a previous video, we had Missile Launcher Madness. We have both missiles that came with the figure. So this is awesome. The other accessories, um, yeah, let's check them out quickly. Mess around with the figure. Um, so good news, Mace is solid as he doesn't have any problems with his um, O-ring, which is great. Uh, very happy about that. Um, yeah, pretty decent figure for the 1990s. And um, yeah, a bit understated as opposed to what a lot of the others were of course the elephant in the room is or actually there's a few so we'll touch on them a lot of other um youtubers have uh, mentioned it but of course his accessories are like mustard yellow which is kind of dumb um but that was kind of the vibe back in the back in the day um, he comes with a knife, he comes with ambushes, um, like sort of S German, was it Steyr or Steiner or Steer, like that sort of rifle that has the cartridges at the back, that's cool, but it is ambushes one from a few years back, and he's coloured it bright yellow, so don't tell ambush about that, he's not going to be happy. This little machine gun he came with. Oh, that's really cool. Um, if anyone knows what the original figure was that came with this particular machine gun, let me know, because it's a ripper, and, you know, it'd be cool to have that not in bright yellow. However, I can sort of guess why they would have gone with the bright yellow, because, say, for example, we hook him up with the old silenced mp5 like one of my all-time favorites the problem is i guess when you're displaying him you know perhaps that's not going to pop and stand out and, and as opposed to say you know bright mustard yellow and things like that still even if he had a gray accessory bear with me a moment Thank you. 
yeah, even if he had a grey accessory like that, that grey would have been better than bright blinking yellow, wouldn't it? But anyway, yeah, it's a cool figure. And, you know, one of the more understated ones. And plus, he doesn't look like a lot of those 1993 figures. They look like they were just guys going on a fishing trip, which, of course, um, we will come to that in another video where we address the fishing trip, G.I. Joes, as I call them. So, yeah, Mace is a good figure. If you, you can probably get him cheap because a lot of these um, 1993 guys uh, aren't highly regarded, uh, probably because of, you know, the accessories giving them a bad name, such as this weird laser pistol thing. Again, if you know which figure this originally came with, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, smash a like and all that sort of stuff as you do every week. Yeah, it's just a very baffling, but that was, you know, just how it rolled back in the day. Now, as part of Missile Madness over the last few weeks, we've been going through a whole lot of these rocket launchers. For some odd reason, don't ask. I have got a lot of these 1993 figures and of course as a result a lot of the 1990 rocket launchers. Now Mace comes with this unit which is the same one I believe that came with the Space Bat or B-A-A-T Bat. Um, but of course Mace's gimmick, he's not just happy with having a rocket launcher like everybody else. He's got to have it mounted to his hat. So Mace came with this helmet. I mean, and that's like, hey, I'm always up for like G.I. Joe's coming with hats. No problem. Looks a bit strange. But he is drug enforcement. So yeah, kids say no to drugs. Otherwise, Mace is going to shoot a rocket launcher at you from his helmet. And this is how it works it slots in on the side there and bang mace is gonna be rolling with a rocket launcher on his head so normally like like we'll just fire him off see how that works hey slam dunk and going for a 50 meter goal Bang, that works perfectly. That's got a lot of kick to it as well. So, very, very happy with that. But of course, having a rocket launcher attached to your head, normally you'd think, like, same, if he fires it, he'd be like, whoosh. And because of, I guess, the propulsion of the rocket, it would, um, you know, shoot him off in a random direction. But anyway... Um, let's not dwell on that and dwell on any physics because that's not my field of expertise, but it is fantastic to have old mate Mace, he's assembled, got all his rockets and accessories, all the great gear, good times there. We've made it through another video where we haven't had to pull something apart and then tenuously put it back together which is always a win for the channel, so I'm happy about that. So, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Share the video with your friends. They probably won't be your friends after you do share it, but, hey, give it a crack. You could do a lot worse. And that's old mate Mace and me signing out from Rob Vegas headquarters. So he's even got a, he's got such a cheery dis, uh, demeanor, and he's a good man, Mace. So we're signing out. Thanks for coming, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Hey, everybody. It's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, everybody. It's Rob Vegas. Blah, blah, blah.
Hell yeah.